How's it going, everyone? And welcome to the greatest MMO on the planet that everyone has that nobody really plays. And the big question is why? 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 I don't know if you guys know this. I mean, I, I, I see a lot of people in chat in Guild Wars 2 in major cities whenever I'm kind of doing some banking stuff, etc., etc. Hmm, eeny, meeny, money mo. Which place should I go? Well, let's go to Holbrook, Halbrook, whatever you want to call it. I love this place. It's just very snowy. What I was saying is I see some indications uh, in, tra in chat. Uh, when you're in a major city, people talking or even just in a zone, they're talking and they're throwing out some vernacular from World of Warcraft. And I, I have to think there's a lot of people that have a Warcraft influence. And what I find very, very interesting, and I'm eventually going to make a video on this right after I get some guides, both on the Guild Wars 2 side as well as the World of Warcraft side, out of the way. But what I'm going to do is make this video about how World of Warcraft... And you could call it borrowing if you want to be nice. Or you could flat out call it stealing. How they're stealing uh, different um, different features from Guild Wars 2. World of Warcraft is about to embark on this living world type of thing. Uh, which is not, not particular to the char character's personal story like in Guild Wars 2. Where, or an instance ongoing thing it's just going to be out there in the world in world of warcraft but they're pulling a page from guild wars 2 they're also giving people an opportunity in world of warcraft to generate gold buy a wow token and use that wow token in order to gain some currency to buy things that's on sale at the bliss store whether it be pets mounts character boost transfers etc 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 all these things are taking a page from guild wars 2 they normalize gear in PvP, taking it from Guild Wars 2. If you look at the trailer for um, Heart of Thorns, and you look at the trailer for Legion. Now, the trailer for Heart of Thorns was out probably a solid four to six months before the trailer for Legion. And yet, and yet, it's very, very, very similar. You, it, it's so similar, it's ridiculous. So eventually I'm going to do a video on that. Like I said, I just have some other priorities of stuff I want to just kind of get off the machine that have been working for a while. But eventually I will do that, and I want to wait for a few more patches to hit in WoW, because I'm sure they're going to be stealing more things. Although gliding is something that was introduced, I believe, in WoW. Uh, there was something called the Goblin gl Glider, which, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, was introduced in Mob, so... But, but this is something that one thing out of maybe 18,000, <laughs> you know, that Guild Wars 2 borrowed from WoW. You know, when, when, I guess when it comes down to it, the difference between stealing and borrowing, usually borrowing pertains to one or two things. And it's okay to do that. But when you start going into a half a dozen, a dozen things, ooh, pretty, pretty lights... You start going into a half a dozen, a dozen things, uh, two dozen things, and it's no longer borrowing. You know, you don't borrow someone, you know, your neighbor's entire garage. You don't go there and say, "Okay, I need to borrow your lawnmower, but can I also borrow those tools, that car, that motorcycle, those sleds?" No, you don't do that. Then, then it's almost stealing. Let me know your thoughts. I'm just rambling. Oh, love the glider. I am so far behind when it comes to Heart of Thorn stuff, because I, I, I really haven't even been through all of those zones. I just kind of dabbled with it, just dabbled a little bit, not a lot. And just simply because uh, if I PvP, which is predominantly what I do in Guild Wars 2, it's mostly PvP, uh, I, I, I don't need. Uh, they automatically give you everything you need for PvP, so it's not like I have to accumulate better gear. It's not like I have to... Uh, go out there and, and accumulate hero points because they just give it all to you in PvP. It's like welfare, and I love it. It's great. <laughs> but eventually I'm going to have to do it because then I'll be super far behind if and when uh, another X-Pack comes out, which I wouldn't expect out for a solid year from now. Would might be the soonest. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if Guild Wars 2 is on a two-year plan or a three-year plan. Uh, let me know of your thoughts. Uh, I, I would say... It could go either way. It's either going to be two years or three years. It took them three years to come out with an X-Pack. So my guess is they might have a three-year plan with this current Heart of Thorns X-Pack. It all depends on how well it's selling, I honestly believe. 
and they just recently put it on sale, although I think that sale is over. But with the holidays coming, I wouldn't be surprised if more sales come. I'm just doing some house cleaning, put the eggs on there. I think when I first started playing this game, I was just like, how do I do this quest? I don't get it, I don't get it. But, you know, once you, once you start to become a little bit of a pro, it's, you know, you kind of understand the mechanics and what they're thinking from previous quests, but it, it, it might be a little bit intimidating trying to figure things out without any other references in game. Uh, having been traveled throughout the world or land of Tyria. It's just, just really, really amazing. It's just amazing that people just don't get into this game, and I, I, I can't quite figure out why. Yeah, I, I think the fact that it's free to play hurts it in some respects, or does, or more appropriately, buy to play. And the reason I say that is because it's when you when you put money down on something, it's a commitment. You know, if any of you have, and this is a very crude analogy, but I'll throw it out there anyway. If any of you ever played poker. Uh, high stakes poker as opposed to nickel and you know penny and nickel and dime poker in the lower stakes game people are you know they're gonna bluff and they're not gonna bluff without any success because oh my god you know I got caught you know I I tried to bluff and I lost a dollar <laughs> you know that's that's nothing so trying to bluff in a low stakes poker game is pretty much a waste of everybody's time it's like oh how much is that for me to call oh uh 32 cents okay i call yeah you're full of shit i thought so but when it's you know a couple of hundred dollars to call it's a different story it's the same concept of of uh stocks i used to be a stockbroker, and people would say oh i'm really great at picking stocks i'm i'm the best oh you know lux you know you only made your clients 12 percent. oh my god i pick stocks i make 30 percent well the difference between Picking stocks just for fun and picking stocks where real money is involved is the difference between uh, firing at a, you know, s standing there with a bow and arrow and shooting at a target. That's kind of like picking stocks without money invested. That's like low stakes poker without money invested. Now, pull back your bow, aim at the target. And you better hit the target because somebody else is firing back at you. Big difference between the two. And I think that might have a lot to do with the lack of commitment that a lot of players might have. And it's and essentially this is a fan-based game. It's people that stick with this game month after month, year after year, really just truly love the game. It's not like they're in it for a gimmick. It's not like they're in it to pass some time. It's not like they're in it for the challenge although they probably beat the game and have earned many many accolades as far as achievements as far as killing raid bosses as far as pvp goes but for them it's just fun they just do it before because it's fun and there really isn't any objective anymore they just do it because it's fun let me know your thoughts on that as i go and clean out some cages it's like tyria is like the world where everybody just has all this chores for you to do <laughs> you know you know chores that you normally in life would wish that you could basically delegate to somebody else well that's precisely what they do here in Tyria. they delegate it to you and you have to do all these different chores thank you on behalf of the bear we'd like to thank the bear and the academy moving right along and I said I said this about many times. I'll say it again because there are people that are watching this video, you know, this video for the first time. And that is sometimes, in order to in order to quest and have some level appropriate content, because a lot of times once you get to like level five, six, or seven, sometimes you're fighting mobs that are three, four levels higher than you. And in a 1v1, you could handle, maybe a 1v2, you could handle, but 1v3, normally you can't. And what you try to do to beat that is you go to a, a different start zone. So here I am human, now I'm in the Norn start zone, so everything is level appropriate because of the scaling, and it works out very, very well. Now, I don't know if that's as much of a problem now, because I want to see if you guys have noticed the same thing that's going on in-game. It seems as though... 
uh, they kind of nerfed the, the experience necessary to complete a lot of these tasks in game. It seems like they go maybe about a third faster or 30% faster than they used to. I, I'm not 100% sure, you know, I don't follow all the changes as they come about, but that's something I just notice. It just feels that way. Let me know if you felt the same thing, that it seems like they made leveling that much faster, that much easier by buffing up, uh, not necessarily the experience, but I think what they did was they didn't let let you have to accumulate as many kills or perform as m many tasks as you used to have to and therefore you can level a bit faster and anything you see in this series as far as me using weapons I mean these are my weapon of choice which is a great video by the way uh, from from the late 90s with uh, Christopher Walken absolutely hysterical I suggest you check it out they're not necessarily my weapon of choice. I'm just trying to experience a lot of different things and just kind of get a real feel for the class. So when I make a decision, I'm going to say, okay, this feels right. And I'll know it's right because I've tried out the other options. You know, sometimes you, you are deluded in a sense. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're playing a class and you're using an axe and you're like, this axe seems really, really weak for some reason, or I can't doesn't have as much utility or I can't do as much with it if you tried out the other weapons you might be less inclined to say that or more inclined to say that so that's why it's always a good measure for you to actually try out different things and different builds and different weapons to see how they work out for you uh, th th then you'll have greater conviction when you make a choice and you'll have greater conviction to stick with your choices because you tried out the other things Unless you're like me and you tried them out and you didn't give them a fair chance. That happens too. So yeah, just forget everything I just said as I go swimming. Swimming, swimming in water. Th this baffled me, this this particular area. I was like, how do I get to that hero point? And I, I think it took me like a year to figure out. I'm exaggerating, but then again, maybe I'm not. <laughs> but this is an easy one. Boom, dead. Lots of fun. Thanks for playing. Well, not quite yet. Look at the bear there. They're like, they, they, she's got her own cheering section. Two bears. They're just like, we just want some salmon. Leave us alone. Well, now she turns into a bear because that's what Norns do. What do you think of the racials in this game, people? Do you, do you really bother with them? I mean, I mean, I know in PvP you really can't be bothered. Therefore, I really don't pay much attention to them. Don't give them a lot of credence. Don't give them a lot of wear and tear or use, but... Uh, for those of you who raid or whatever it is that you do in game, let me know if the racials really have an impact. Because I, I, I kind of get the feeling that they don't. But I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. Happens quite a lot, actually. I just don't always admit it. Uh-oh. Got these hawk eagle things on me. Alright, you guys want to play? Let's play! Say hello to my little friend. Why don't you just fly in there? You guys got to learn how to fight. Somebody's got to teach these NPCs how to fight. Vista the time. Da, 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 da. Wow, look at those fires. They look really cool. I like those fires. Good job. Graphics are amazing. I mean, this game is almost is four years old now. And yet, the graphics still dwarf graphics of other games. They really do. Uh, at least other MMOs. I'm, I'm sure there's some RPGs, flat-out single-player games that have better graphics. But then again, they're allotted to have better graphics just simply because they don't have to deal with 20 or 25 players in one zone or one specific area in that zone. So they can afford to allocate uh, to the graphics more so than, say, any other MMO where it, it's kind of tough. Unless you have like this massive, massive computer on steroids... It's kind of difficult to do. Just discovering way, waypoints that I'll probably never use again. See, what I don't understand is why these dudes over here are living in a cave. I mean, of all places they could live, they choose to live in a cave. That kind of confuses me and baffles me. And it's like one degree out and they're running around. They don't have any shirts. They just used to the cold, I guess. It's like... Yep, hello. 
How you doing, guys? You defend that flag. Good job. Somebody's got to teach these guys how to fight, because I'm not really this good. <laughs> Kill your little flag here. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh, another flag to kill. Yeah, see, this is... You got one guy who's running around in, like, one degree weather without a shirt, and this guy's, like, bundled up like he's going to the North Pole to get some milk or something. I don't know why anybody would go to the North Pole to get milk. Unless they're confusing milk for snow. Or snow for milk. But it's weird. It's like one guy is running around in a diaper thong, and the next guy is like dressed for Antarctica, <laughs> and they're standing next to each other. I, I, I'm sure there's some sort of explanation, but honestly, I just like making fun of them. I just find I do. I just find this absolutely hysterical how one guy's dressed for Africa hot, and the other guy is dressed for Antarctica cold. It, it really, and they're standing right next. To you. It's, it really cracks me up. Is it me that I'm this good, or these guys suck? I think it's these guys suck. These NPCs. Got to go back to Guild Wars 2 school, bro, and learn how to Guild Wars 2. Because I suck at this game, and you guys are going down like flies. <clears throat> hey, bro, how's it going? Oh, you're dead. All I have to say is thanks for playing. Here's another one. Boom. 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 Jump dead. Thank you for playing. Let the any okay. Let the little pet doggy out. We're just rolling right along, and we hit a new level. Level twenty, but I'm downscaled for level five. Praise from the pack. The wolves thank me. Thank you. Appreciate being part of the pack, guys. And we'll get looks what looks like some sort of underwater spear that I'll probably use once. Oh, you got guys are busy. Can we have a time out here? Yeah, you see now you're gonna get what's coming to you. It's okay. I, I know he's gonna resurrect. It's not like he's really dead. He'll just he just keeps respawning and respawning and respawning. He's used to it. That's his life. It's like breathing for him. Dead. Thanks for playing. Oh, we're going to close it out here, it seems. Well, guys, I appreciate you watching. This is Luxley saying whatever it is by you, morning, afternoon, or night. Make it great.